Hi Flosstube, I'm Kayla the Hufflepuff Stitcher and welcome to my channel. Uh, we're joined today by Luna over here and Zelda is right down here. Zelda, up, up. Come here. Good girl. She wants the ball. Uh, today's toy of the day, blue racquetball. So what I've got for you today are an update on my whips. I've got some plans. Uh, my sister made some more project bags. Um, I've got a floss tube Stanley update. And then, of course, our giveaway for the week. So jumping right in, what we were given for homework in the School of Magical Stitches and Literature this past week is actually a Quidditch match because the fourth book, we're now in our fourth year, uh, starts out with the Quidditch World Cup. So the way that the Quidditch matches were running in this group is that it was house versus house. Uh, so the first round was Hufflepuff versus Ravenclaw and Slytherin versus Gryffindor. And it was essentially just to see which team could do the most stitching. Uh, it started out with a seeker on each team and the seeker, their job was to catch the snitch, which if you know anything about how Quidditch works, um, the golden snitch is a little ball that flies around and it is worth 150 points in the books and movies. Um, and whoever catches it first ends the match. Now, they did not have that end the match here, but they did keep with the gold theme. So what the requirements were to catch the snitch and earn your house a bonus, I believe it was 50 points, uh, you had to do 1,000 stitches in gold thread. And it didn't have to be metallic gold. Um, any DMC color that had the word gold in the title qualified. Um, and it was just whoever caught it first. So it's not like each individual person had to go after it. It's just someone in the house. Um, the I don't even know if I'm explaining this properly. Sorry, guys. It's the best I got. So this... First match uh, lasted three days, and the golden snitch was actually caught before I woke up that morning, uh, thanks to the different time zones. Uh, the match officially started at um, midnight, I believe it was Pacific time, uh, by which point I was already in bed. Um, and then I believe the golden snitch was caught within just a few hours. So somebody in the Hufflepuff house and somebody in the Ravenclaw house ended up catching the snitch really close in time and it was a matter of who formatted it correctly and you know first match there's kinks to work out so we ended up just splitting the points so the Hufflepuff seeker got 25 points and the Ravenclaw seeker got 25 points for their house and then everyone else just did as many stitches as they could and I believe it was every 100 stitches counted as one point. So the way that it worked out is my stitching. I knew I wasn't even going to try for the snitch because not only was it caught before I woke up, but when I was mentally planning after figuring out what it was going to be, uh, I went through my projects and I didn't have anything that called for that many stitches in a color with gold in the title that would be easy to get to. I'd have to count over and it wasn't, it would be on my head. It wasn't worth trying to figure out which threads counted and which ones, I wasn't even gonna bother with it. Figured I'd support my team as a chaser and just do as much stitching as I could. So I'm also going to apologize for everything shaking, Zelda's running and chasing the ball and it's shaking the table. The first thing that I worked on was my Riolus Hedgehogs. Um, which I will insert a picture here of where it was last time. And this is how far I got on them. So I pretty much completed this entire side over here along with what was left up in the top. Um, this is part of my mania plans. So my mania this year, I'm doing a monogamania, um, but that's outside of the homework. So I'm still gonna do the homework, whatever it calls for. If I've got a project that matches, awesome. Um, it's just any additional stitching that I do, I will be working on this piece. And since the Quidditch match that 
we've got uh, just counts for how many stitches you do. Uh, it's very friendly for the people who do regular mania. So it wasn't on a specific project. It didn't have to be, you know, on a building or on a creature or any. It was whatever project you want, just put in the stitches. So I thought I'd work a little bit on this. Got a pretty solid chunk of it done. The... See, another project that I worked on was my Pumpkinville Sal, which I will insert a picture here of where it was last time. And I was finally able to finish my center banner. And it is about time that I got that done. Um, so this got some love during that first match and got that part completed. And then the final project that I worked on was my Mill Hill Snowman. Uh, this is Jingle, he's part of the Snowbells series. I'll insert a picture here of where he was last time. And I gotta finish. So I got all of the backstitching done. Um, I will say I'm not, I didn't count the backstitching because I'm not going to sit there and count out how many backstitches, that stresses me out. So backstitching back just is what it is. Um, and then I added all of the beading to it. So the only thing left on him is to FFO him. I need to get him cut out and then put some felt on the back to cover up the back, which I'm going to show my backside. Not too shabby. Um, the thread that I used for the beading, I absolutely carried across. Just because the beads are sporadic where they're placed, with all the different little polka dots, and I, I carried the thread. I admit it, but there's no cross stitch, please, so it's okay. But I got to finish on him. Uh, the results of that first Quidditch match, uh, which, of course, I'm in Hufflepuff, so the results that I cared about was the Hufflepuff versus Ravenclaw match. Um, Ravenclaw did beat us. Not by a whole lot, though. We put up a pretty good fight. The second match was over the weekend. Um, so it's another three days. And it's the same thing. You know, you've got the seeker, the first person to do 1,000 stitches in the color gold from each house or from, I guess, each match. Um, I actually don't remember who caught the snitch. I think it was Gryffindor. I'm pretty sure. Um, this match, it was Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor and then Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. And I believe it was the Gryffindor seeker that got the snitch before the Hufflepuff seeker. So they got the 50 additional points. And then, um, as I've said in previous videos, I do my filming on Mondays and then upload on Tuesdays. So... As of the time of filming, this match is still ongoing. Uh, I do not know who the winner is. All I know is that Gryffindor did catch the snitch. And again, it was before I even woke up that day because people around the whole world are stitching in different time zones and all that fun stuff. So what I've worked on for this was not a whole lot. Um, we had a really busy weekend with unexpected in-laws coming to stay and we were babysitting our um my sister-in-law's puppy but he's like a year old so he's the size of a full dog but the energy and insanity of a puppy didn't get a whole lot of stitching done um i did work on the dimensions baby feet though which i'll insert a picture here of where i was last time and I got a foot finished. So not a whole lot of stitching contributed, um, but I am going to be putting this one away now that I have finished at least one of the feet. Uh, I'm working on this as a birth announcement for my sister who is due in August. Yes, Sarah, it's not a secret. I made one for your other kids too. You know what I'm working on. Also right here, shout out Hi, Sophia. Hi, Jay. I love you. Auntie Kayla loves you. Just in case you're watching. 
Um, but I did get this foot done. Uh, this ended up being 131 stitches, so I uploaded my progress on that. And that is the only points that I'm guaranteed to be getting toward Hufflepuff House for this second match. Uh, my hope is that after I finish filming this, that tonight I'll be able to bring my Pumpkinville Sal up to work with me and then between students get a start on my May block. We'll see if that happens. Um, the match ends tonight at midnight Pacific time, which just means because I'm, you know, I live in Michigan. So pretty much before I go to bed, upload whatever stitching I get done. That's what I got. So we'll see how this turns out. And moving on to plans, it sounds like the Quidditch matches have actually been canceled. There were supposed to be four matches total. So there is the first match, which as I said, I'm Hufflepuff, so that's what I pay attention to. Um, first match was Hufflepuff versus Ravenclaw. Second match that we're currently in as of filming is Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor. The third match would be Hufflepuff versus Slytherin. And then the fourth match was supposed to be the top two and then the bottom two, just to figure out placement of where everyone would be standing, where like their house points are concerned for our stitching totals. However, it sounds like there has been some drama in the group that I must have missed because... As I said, in-laws were unexpectedly over and real life happens and I wasn't around to see what was going on. So I'm also going to insert my public service announcement here, guys. If you're in this group, this is for fun. Let's leave the drama out. All we're doing, whether you get points or not for your stitching, look at how much progress you made. Like, even if I had not gotten my points for my hedgehogs, I still finished that whole side. That's a win. So be nice. Keep it happy. It's all a game. It's for fun. That is the end of my public service announcement. Uh, but because of these matches being canceled after finishing the second match tonight, uh, my understanding is that regular homework will be resuming as of tomorrow morning. I don't know what the new homework assignment is, so I'm not sure how to plan for that. Um, the only thing I know for sure is that I am planning on working on my hedgehogs once whatever the homework is is finished. And tonight I want to work on my Pumpkinville sale. That, that's really all I have for my plans. It's hard to know what to plan for if you don't know what the homework is yet. But we'll make it work because either way, it's all for fun. Moving on to the bags that my sister made. Uh, so my sister, as I had said last week, she is Mama Llama's Sewing on Instagram. Uh, she has since changed her Instagram name because she found out that there is someone with an actual business who has that name and she doesn't want to be infringing upon any of that. So her new name on Instagram, in case you're interested in checking her out at all, is The Lemur Seamer. And I will have that uh, linked below, listed below in the description box there. Uh, but she is making some project bags just to make some extra money before her new baby comes, help cover some costs. So from last week, we do still have one bag left. And that is this one right here with the pink bell flowers. And it has just a solid black lining on the inside, a nice dark green zipper. And I did not get out a piece of paper. Hold on, just, just for size comparison, we'll grab out my Pumpkinville color sheet. But as you can see, easily fits a piece of paper. So your patterns will fit inside of these bags. Uh, she has also made some yoga bags for this week, which I don't have physically here with me. I'm picking them up tonight, but I will insert a picture here of how they look. So the main fabric is a calm yoga print, and then she did a bright pink lining on the inside and a white zipper across the top. And again, they're all the tall orientation. I'll show you 
This is another one that she made that, sorry guys, I kept. I like this one. It's bright and colorful. Um, yeah, I can put that around. But it's all done in the tall orientation. So again, easily big enough to keep my pattern in, keep my project. If I was one to keep threads in there, there'd be plenty of space. So there is no problem with that. If you are interested in purchasing any of those, just check out my Instagram this week. I will be posting them on there. And then it's just the first me please commented on it will get the bag. Um, in case you are not familiar, on my Instagram, my name is the Hufflepuff Stitcher. So same as here on Floss Tube. Okay, that's what I got. I'm looking down. I've got notes. I'm trying to keep it all straight. So, my Floss Tube Stanley update. Uh, Floss Tube Stanley went to California to visit Elizabeth, who is Solar Stitches, both here on Floss Tube and on Instagram as well. And he got to visit, oh goodness, Runyon Canyon Park. I hope I pronounced that correctly, and I'll be inserting pictures. Uh, they brought him out for a hike, both Elizabeth and her daughter, who I will not be posting pictures of her daughter because I'm not going to post pictures of someone else's kids. Uh, but they also brought him to visit the Hollywood sign, which is very exciting. I don't believe any of my students have ever been to California themselves. So they will be thrilled to see those pictures this week. Um, and that is the whole reason I'm doing this in case you haven't looked back at any of my other videos. Floss Tube Stanley is Flat Stanley from the children's book Flat Stanley. Uh, I am a tutor. I work at a uh, private learning center. So I work one-on-one -on -one tutoring with students. And with my students, we read the book Flat Stanley. So we are now sending out our own Flat Stanley to go travel around. Um, the one that I made because I do the same things my students do. I never make them do anything that I'm not willing to do myself. That's my philosophy there. Um, my Stanley, I called Floss Tube Stanley, and my hope is that he'll be traveling around the Floss Tube community, the Cross Stitch community, just going person to person to person without having to come back to me each time, which is great. So if you are interested in him at all, follow the hashtag hashtag Floss Tube Stanley on Instagram, or you can you know, shoot me a message below, comment below, and I can get you on a list in case you're interested, but don't have a way of following along with where he's at. And this is all just to help my kids see the world around them. Uh, we have a giant map in the office that we've been putting his pictures around. We get to choose one picture from each of his stops, and then all the other ones go into his travel scrapbook. So, it looks like he had a blast with Elizabeth, who is, again, Solar Stitches here on Floss Tube and on Instagram. And I can't wait to see all of the fun adventures he gets to go on. And then finally, we have the giveaway from last week, which I forgot to get out of my little book here. The giveaway was for the Red Mitten Collection, won by JBW Designs. So I will insert my picture here of the giveaway and congratulations to Miser Meow Mai. Meow Me. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but you have won this chart. So get a hold of me either through Instagram, shoot me a message, or email the email that is listed below and send me your address. And I'm assuming your real name is not Miser Meow Mai, so shoot me your name as well and I'll get this in the mail to you. For this week, with everything that's going on in that uh, Magical Stitches group that I'm not sure I missed something on, I thought we'd go with some positivity. So, what I've got this week are um, two of the parts for the Living with Charm series by Lizzie Kate. So, the first one I have is Encourage and Laugh. And then the other one I have is Dream and Love. 
So these are ones that I had found at the thrift store. I don't believe either of them have any markings inside. Yep, no markings. Um, they do not come with the charms, but you still get the charts. So if you are interested in winning these two double flip it's here, comment below and let me know what is your favorite thing to do in the spring. Spring is finally arriving. Thank you for all of those warm, sunny vibes that you sent up here to Michigan. Uh, it was 70 degrees. I think today is actually a high of 75. I might be able to tell my nose is a little red. We spent some time outside yesterday going to the Tulip Festival in Holland, Michigan, and then a flea market as well, an outdoor flea market. So I got a little bit of sun. It's fantastic. So what is your favorite thing to do in the springtime? And until I see you next time, keep it magical, guys. Bye.